If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because I want you to join the family. And if you've been rock with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. All right, y'all, we are here. <laughs> we are here today with something a little bit different. So I am reviewing a unit by Sensational, courtesy of Sam's Beauty. So Sam's Beauty, thank you for sending me this unit. And her name is Morgan, y'all. Yes, the infamous Morgan. Let me tell you, I first saw Morgan on my girl Kyra Sean, and she reviewed her in this gorgeous burgundy wine color. My God, I'm gonna link her video. Please go check her out because she slayed the hell of that unit. For some reason, I never bought her. And since then, when it comes to the Wet Lace Collection, whenever I talk to someone about it, they always say that Morgan and Janelle are their favorites in the collection. I've heard this 10 times over. I was like, wow, I really need to try Morgan. Finally, got my hands on her. And thank you to Sam's Beauty for being very patient because I chose this color, but still ended up being a little apprehensive and that's why my review took so long so i appreciate y'all hanging in there with me but yeah y'all i have some things to say <laughs> let me give you these specs and we'll dive into the review so morgan is a 13 by 6 lace frontal and just for my new wig wearers having a frontal gives you more parting space which allows you to be more flexible with your wigs versus just having a lace front which is just a set part with lace to cut. She's ear to ear with a pre-plucked hairline. She does come with baby hair. She does have your two combs near the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. And of course, as always, Sensational gives you a nice little demonstration of what everything looks like. And on the back, they have what their hairline looks like versus the competitors. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. Wow, Morgan. All right. <laughs> if you know me, you know I love wearing blondes. However, this right here is definitely new for me. This type of 613 almost platinum blonde. The first time I tried it was actually with this Bobby Boss unit called Yanni, and I thought it was gorgeous, but that had clearly dark roots. This, you know, there's no root in here, not at all. I mean, a little bit of my makeup got on some of the roots here, but I didn't want it to have a dark root. I just wanted to see what it would look like, just straight 613 root to tip. And I am loving her! Oh my goodness! Y'all, let's just dive right into the pros. First pro for me is the color, for sure. It is absolutely striking on my skin. That's how I feel about blondes in general. When I see blonde hair on brown skin, I am so enamored by how it looks. And to me, the icier the blonde and the darker the skin, the more I'm just like, wow, that looks amazing. The contrast to me is absolutely beautiful. And seeing it on my skin, I'm just like, okay, bitch, we need to do this blonde a long time ago, like without the root. And I know that's not gonna be for everybody. A lot of people are not comfortable wearing blondes like this especially without a rooting but i like to push myself and push my boundaries when it comes to my hair and i'm definitely happy with this outcome also quick note on wearing blondes like this i decided to wear denim today because i just feel like it went well with this blonde i think that's just another thing we got to keep in mind when wearing certain blondes the clothes that you wear can either complement or totally the color that you choose to wear with the, the color clothing that you choose to wear with your blonde wig can either complement it 
or not. I think the denim blue complements this blonde very well. If you know other colors that would complement this look, let me know in the comments down below. Now for my girls who really don't like the idea of wearing this type of blonde, or any blonde rather, without some type of rooting, here's what you can do. You can take a brown powder of some sort. Just be careful with the powder because with this type of blonde, I don't want it to be harsh. Like I would never use like black on this type of blonde like just a straight black 1B root, I wouldn't do that. I think it's possible to have like a little bit of darkness mixed in if it's a root that is very dimensional, but for it to just be straight 1B 613, not a fan of that. So take a powder like this and then just take a brush. I'm gonna use this type of brush just to do a little bit and literally just brush along here on the sides, very, you know, softly to create that that rooting and i'm not doing too much because again i don't even want a dark root right now but i'm showing this to the girls who really want to know how to do it and you can see now how i have a dark root forming here but it's not harsh and i can do this over here so you see how the root is dark now i like the way that looks that looks pretty cute And that's just a really quick and easy way to add some rooting to your blonde wig without doing the most. I think a powder works the most effectively. One thing I absolutely love about this blonde is that it's on the icier side. Normally 613s can come across more yellow, but not every 613 is made the same. And I just want you to know that in case you've been curious about trying this color. Some of them are brassier and some of them are more like this. I think for my complexion, for my undertone, this type of blonde looks very beautiful on me. Another process unit and a surprise to me is the texture. Let me tell you, I've definitely talked about the fibers on Sensational's wet lace units and I have not been a fan overall. Hey, so Sensational, if you're watching, please do something about the fibers on your unit. I think it's the quality of the hair. They should probably do like a human hair blend. Some units were better than others. I did like Sensational Chrissy. Sensational Danzy was cool. I thought I liked Kiari, but I think I just liked the fact that I was finally learning how to apply a, a frontal versus the actual hair. After a few days, I was not feeling the actual hair on Kiari at all the fibers to me were just not premium but this if you could feel how soft this is oh my god this is premium fiber here definitely a nice light yucky texture come on sensational like this yeah, sensational. This is what I'm talking about. Another pro for me is the style. I think the layers in this unit are beautiful. You know, I love barrel curls, but I also love very light curls like this and in the slip over style I think it's awesome. Of course, remember this is a 13 by six, so you can easily part this in the middle, part this on the left side, which I know I'm a right side kind of girl. Another process unit is the cap. This is definitely big head friendly. This cap is fitting my 22 inch head very comfortably. So if you have a large head, you'll be good to go with Miss Morgan. As far as the cons, the only thing I can think of is yeah, there was some shedding, which I expected because it's a, a platinum blonde color. And also the hairline to me out the pack looked nice, but right now I'm not seeing much of the hairline. Um, yeah, so I would definitely go in and pluck this some more to kind of get that what lace hairline effect that I am used to with this line. But overall, y'all, Morgan is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what took me so long to try this unit, but she is a stunner, especially in this color. And if blonde is not for you, get her in a one, one B, number two, get her in a natural color. Even try the burgundy wine I mentioned that Kyra Sean reviewed. Make sure you check out her video to see what I'm talking about. But I mean, she is just like a great sleigh. And I think for the price she is now, I'm pretty sure she's like $49.99 now. So I think that's definitely a good price for a synthetic frontal unit, especially considering it's not a human hair blend. So all around, I'm here for Miss Morgan and I'm so happy that I finally got to try her. Please let me know how you feel about Morgan in the comments down below. Would you purchase her? Would you try this platinum color like I did? Now the real test is if I wear this out the house. I honestly can't remember the last time I felt nervous wearing a wig out the house. Let me find out, this 613 is giving me a run for my money. What? Oh, you shook Gladys.
<laughs> your girl is shook. Oh my God. Yes, y'all, she took me there. And of course, if you're new around here, tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell because I have so many good things coming up. Also, if you love seeing me in blonde hair, check out my blonde hair playlist. It'll be in the description box down below. And if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.